Erecting these giants was a masterpiece, the blue stones of Stonehenge, four tons each. But that wasn't even the most impressive part, because these stones came from a quarry in Wales, 240 kilometers away. To get them to their destination, the Stone Age builders had to push the boundaries of what was possible. It began with geology. They chose bluestone because it was volcanic magma that had naturally cooled into vertical columns. To harvest them, they used physics. Workers drove dry oak wedges into the cracks and soaked them with water. The expanding wood snapped the pillars clean off the cliff. They built timber sledges. They greased the tracks with animal fat and used logs as a mobile road to prevent sinking. But the ocean required true engineering. They lashed two hulls together to create stable catamarans. To load them, they harnessed the tides, building rafts at low water and letting the rising ocean lift the stones for them. Once afloat, the true odyssey began. Hugging the treacherous coastline, these Stone Age mariners navigated the open waves before turning inland. They pushed their heavy cargo up winding rivers, fighting the current to penetrate deep into the heart of Britain. Stonehenge isn't just a monument. It is a victory of prehistoric logistics.